Welcome to study time. In this video, we are going to see class 4 maths chapter 4. Tick, tick, tick. I am going to cover the introduction of chapter 4. I am going to discuss basics of this chapter 4. In the next video, I will be discussing textbook solutions. I will give the link in the description box. Please go through the textbook solution in the next video. So this video would be like a basics where we are going to see what is time, introduction to calendar, introduction to clock. What is time? Time is a ongoing sequence of events taking place. It can be past, present or future. Past is whichever has happened already. Present meaning is which is happening now. Future is which will happen. There are many units for time. They are seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks, here, year. But the basic unit of time is second. These are the different ways used to measure time. Here in this slide I have given few ways. So first picture says it is sand clock. This is used in ancient days. Next is wall clock, stopwatch or normal hand watch and calendar. What are the units of time? Minute, hour, seconds, day, month, year. One minute equal to 60 seconds. 1 hour equal to 60 minutes. 1 day equal to 24 hours. 1 month equal to 30 or 31 days. In February it can be 28 or 29 days. 1 year can be 365 or 366 days. Next calendar. What is a calendar? A calendar is a chart or a series of pages showing days, weeks and months of a particular year or it can give some seasonal information. Calendar can be either ordinary year. So each year can, can be called either it is an ordinary year or leap year. Any year which has 365 days is called as ordinary year. Example 2009. Any year which has 366 days is called as leap year. Example 2020. How can we find whether the given year is ordinary year or leap year? Take the example 2009. You have to take the last two digit of the given year. If the last two digit of the given year is divisible by 4 and the remainder is 0, then the given year is leap year. If it is not 0, then the given year is ordinary year. Here, example 2009, if you divide 9 by 8, the remainder is 1, then it is an ordinary year. If you divide 2020, last two digit is 20. 20 divided by 4 is, the remainder is 0. So that is leap year. In calendar, 1 year equal to 12 months. 1 month equal to 28, 29, 30, 31 days. 1 week equal to 7 days. Calendar can be of yearly calendar where it has all the 12 months. Or it can be of monthly calendar where it represents each month separately. In few places, you might see daily calendar. These are months and days. You would have already studied these. Let's recall it. What are the months of a year? January, February, March, April, May, June. July, August, September, October, November, December. Days of the week are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. There are different ways by which we can represent date. The standard form is 
pd slash mm slash yy yy here each month corresponds to a particular number example january is 0 1 february is 0 2 march 0 3 april 0 4 may 0 5 june 0 6 july 0 7 august 0 8 september 0 9 october 10 november 11 december 12 what is dd meaning is day it can be 1 to 31 what is the mm month so it can be 1 to 12 either from 1 to 12 here is it can be of any year which is a four digit number here i have given one example 16 april 2020 what are the number corresponds to april 04 so 16 slash 04 slash 2020 this is how you should represent a date it can be MMDD YYY format also. Next, after or before. Here I have given one example date 12th May 2007. What month is after 6 months? You all know that 05 corresponds to May. After 6 months, you have to add 6 with 5. So 5 plus 6 is 11. Which is the month corresponding to 11 November. Next, what month is before 4 months? So, 5 minus 4 is 1. What is the month corresponding to 1 is January. This is how you should calculate before or after months when a particular date is given. Next, what is 10 days after the given date? You have to add 10 with day. Here day is 12. So 10 days after is 12 plus 10 is 22. What is 10 days before? 12 minus 10 is 2. So 2nd May 2007 is 10 days before the given date. One year after is? 12th May 2008, you have to add 1 with the year. What is 1 year before? So, 12, 5, 2006. Next, we are going to see calculation of days. Here, we are going to calculate the number of holidays which you have in summer vacation. Example, I have taken the holidays start date as 3rd May 2020 to 23rd 6 2020 meaning is the school reopens 24 June. You are going to calculate the number of holidays in between. You all know that May has 31 days and June has 30 days. You can refer the calendar and take this count. Next you have to calculate the holidays in May month. So, total number is 31 minus 2, 28 days in May and 23 days in June. 29 plus 23 is 52 days of summer vacation. So, this is how you should calculate the number of days when from date and to date is given. Next, clock. These are the two major types of clock, analog clock and digital clock. In analog clock, we have to read the time yourself. In digital clock, it will display the time automatically. This is clockwise. In the picture it is rotating, you know, this is clockwise. The reverse of it is anti-clockwise. Next, here the clock has three hands. This is the analog clock. Here the clock has three hands. Short and his hard hand. The long hand is minute hand. The red color one is seconds. For reading any time, you should know short hand and the long hand the numbers. Short hand corresponds to the direct number which it, which it points to. Here it is 12. So the Time is 12. But you have to say 
with the minutes. But the minute hand points to points in between 1 and 2. See here in the next slide, it, will, it is very clear I have given seconds. So 1, 2, 3, 4 line. Between 12 and 1, you have 1, 2, 3, 4 lines. So whenever you tell the minutes, you have to tell this minutes. So it can be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So this is how you should imagine yourself when you see the clock. See in the next slide, the inner number represents a short hand. The outer number represents a long hand. Can you read the time which is given in this clock? The basic steps you have to follow is short hand, colon, long hand. Already I told you, short hand is easy. You can directly write the number point, pointing to that hand. Here it points to 2. Whereas for long hand, you have to imagine this. The outer number corresponds to long hand. So here in this picture, it... Uh, points to 4. 4 meaning is 20. So the clock time is 2.20. Next is 12 hour clock, 24 hour clock. There are two ways of telling the time. One is 12 hour clock and 24 hour clock. 12 hour clock lands from 1 to 12 noon and then from 1 pm to 12 midnight. 24 hour clock uses the number 0 to 23.59. Midnight is 00. 12, 24 hours clock is used in railways, airport, etc. 12 hour clock and 24 hour clock in detail. Why there is a difference in clock? In 12 hour clock, the clock, uh, the hour hand eats the same number two times. Example, 3 o'clock. It eats the 3 o'clock in the day and night. In order to differentiate, 3 o'clock, whether it is day or night, we use AM, PM. What is AM? AM meaning is anti meridian, PM meaning is post meridian. See, this is how there is a difference in 12 hour clock in 24 hour clock. So, from 1 to 12, it is same for both 12 hour clock and 24 hour clock. In the second uh, tabular column, see 1 PM. In 24 hour clock it is 13, 2 pm would be 14, 3 pm would be 15, 4 pm would be 16, 5 pm would be 17, 6 pm would be 18, 7 pm would be 19, 8 pm would be 20, 9 pm would be 21, 10 pm would be 22, 11 pm would be 23 and 12 and midnight in 24 hour clock is 00. Next, guess the time. Can you all guess the time now? So it is exactly 3 o'clock. Can you guess the time in this clock? I already told short hand, colon, long, long hand. So short hand is 3. It, cut us, it is uh, pointing between 3 and 4. So 3 colon, the long hand points to minute time. You have to imagine it like 40 so it is 40 so the time is 340 next we are going to learn how to tell time in english previously we saw how to tell in numbers here the hour and the same you can uh, there is no change in hour and there is difference only in minute and if the mirrors, minute hand points to 1, you have to tell 5 past. If the minute hand points to 2, you have to tell 10 past. If it, if it points to 3, you have to tell quarter past. 4, 20 past. 5, 25 past. 6, half past. 7, 25, 2. After 6, you have to tell 2. 25, 2, 22. If it points to 9, you have to tell quarter to. If it points to 10, you have to tell 10 to. If it points to 11, you have to tell 11 to. We shall discuss detail in this slide. 
see the first picture the clock is 6 o'clock you can say it has it's 6 o'clock the second picture it is pointing to 1 so the clock time is 6 5 you have to say it's 5 past 6 see here it is 5 past 6 next the third picture it points to 3 6 15 it is quarter past 6 next 6 30 it's half past 6 if it points 7 it's 25 to 7 if it points to 9 6 45 it's quarter to 7 if it points to 11 6 55 it's 5 to 7 this is how you should tell time in English how long will it take the minute hands to move from the first clock to second clock first clock uh, the clock time is 2 30 in the second clock the clock time is 2 50 so 2 50 minus 2 30 is 20 minutes. So it takes 20 minutes to move from 2.30 to 2.50. Guess the time 45 minutes after 7 o'clock. What is 45 minutes after 7 o'clock? It is 7.45. Can you guess the time 25 minutes after 8 o'clock? It is 8.25. Next we are going to see how to convert 12 hour clock time to 24 uh, 24 hour clock time to 12 hour clock time. Here in the picture, the time is 23.20, meaning is 11.20 pm. So, how you should calculate? You should subtract 12 from the 24 hour clock. 23.20 minus 12. So, the answer is 11.20 pm. This is how you should calculate 12, 24 hour clock to 12 hour clock. You should subtract 12 from the given 24 hour clock. You would be getting 12 hour clock. Next. Converting 12 hour clock to 24 hour clock time. So you have to add 12 to the 12 hour clock. So you would be getting 24 hour clock. See here 3 plus 12 is 15. So 15 is the 24 hour clock time. This is how you should convert 24 to 12 hour clock or 12 hour to 24 hour clock. Hope I covered all the basics for chapter 4 tick tick tick. I will be posting a separate video for textbook solution of chapter 4. I will give the link in the description box. Please go through the video. Thanks for watching.